everyone needs a shoulder to cry on. Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome if you are new. I'm excited you're here today. This is a very special video. This video is in collaboration with my sweet friend Jim from Jim's Kitch Kitchen. You'll have to check out his channel, check out the entire playlist of everybody that's making nachos. So let's get in the kitchen and let's make some tasty nachos. All right, friends, we are taking nachos to a new level today. We are not making beef nachos. We're not making regular nachos. We are making barbecue chicken nachos. I have some barbecue chicken right here that I've been cooking for a little while in my favorite Kinder's barbecue sauce. I love it. So we're gonna get our nachos built. This is a super fast recipe, super quick for a weeknight. You wanna put some chicken in a crock pot with some barbecue sauce, have it ready when you get home. You can throw these nachos in the oven and you can have dinner right on the table in just a few minutes. So let's get them made. All right, friends, so we're gonna start off with our chips. And of course, I only use Juanitas. Those are my favorite tortilla chips. They are made right here in the Pacific Northwest where I'm from. And I'm just gonna make one big sheet pan nacho. Hubby and I can share. I'll just put onion on half of it so he can have his and I can have mine. I'm excited to try this recipe. It's a new recipe. I have not tried this one before. So I will let you guys know in the description box what we think of these nachos and if there's any changes that we would make to them. I know I typically grade my own cheese, but I'm going easy tonight. I'm taking some help from the grocery store. We're just gonna use this Fiesta blend from Walmart. If I can get this open, it really doesn't tear very well. All right, so we're gonna get our, we're gonna get some cheese down and I'm gonna move my chips around just a little bit after I get this cheese on. We're gonna put our barbecue chicken on here and then that's all that's going on these and they'll go in the oven. They're gonna bake until our cheese is melted and everything is nice and bubbly. And these are nachos, so they need to have lots of cheese. Let's get a good base. All right, let's get some barbecue chicken on. Use my tongs and just kind of drop our barbecue chicken all over these nachos. I think this is gonna be a super good combination. I have tried um, pulled pork nachos before at a couple of re local restaurants we have around here. They're, um, you know, mainly like pubs, breweries, that kind of thing. They have a barbecue pulled pork nacho and those are super tasty. But when I saw this barbecue chicken one, I thought that's one that I have not seen before. Maybe you have seen it. If you have tried barbecue chicken nachos, let me know in the comments if you have tried something similar to this. I'm definitely excited to eat these. I've had a very lazy kind of day. Well, not really lazy. I um, watched our ducks play this afternoon and working on some collab videos and getting those things ready to go. We've got a full month of collab videos coming up, so be looking for those. Let's go ahead and put down another layer of cheese on top of our chicken. And then these are just gonna go straight in the oven. And as soon as they come out, we're gonna top them with a few really tasty toppings. And dinner's gonna be on the table in just a couple of minutes. That's why I loved this recipe. It was super, super fun. All right, there's our nachos. In the oven they go. I forgot to add our black beans. So I've got some black beans. So basically everything I'm using on these nachos is leftovers. I did an event last night and I had a burrito bowls. So I had leftover black beans, leftover chicken, leftover cheese, leftover chips. So literally everything that's going into these nachos is leftover from event last night. So that makes them super cost effective. All right, one more scoop of black beans and then they're going in the oven. Friends, now they're going in the oven. 
right, while those are in the oven, let's get the rest of our stuff prepped up. I already have olives from last night. I have some red onion left from last night, so we're gonna use those. We're gonna chop up a green, or slice up a green onion real quick. I love that I found this recipe and I had everything I needed to make these already in my fridge, everything prepped and ready to go. So it really made it super nice, super fast. All right, there's our green onion. Hubby will have a little red onion and a little green onion on his side. And I think I'm gonna put a little avocado on these. I've got an avocado left from last night too. And <laughs> so, as I said, literally everything that's going into these nachos is something I had left from the event last night from the burrito bowls that we did. So I'm just gonna dice these up real quick. All right, let's get this avocado in here. can't have nachos without avocado and friends I even have lime left from last night so we're gonna squeeze a little bit of lime on our avocado all right let's give our avocado a quick stir make sure it's all covered and that lime juice. All right, our nachos should be out in just a couple minutes. All right, friends, there's our nachos. They look amazing. Let's go ahead and finish them. Like I said, I'm gonna put red onion on hubby's side. like that. I'm going to put some olives on all of it. We love olives on nachos. Some people don't. If you don't like nachos, then just leave them off. I am a big nacho or big uh, olive fan. We've got our green onion. We're going to put that all over all of it. We've got our avocado. Just like that. Last but not least, you cannot have nachos without sour cream. So we're just gonna go there is our barbecue chicken nachos. Super excited to go eat this. Super quick recipe on the table in no time at all especially if you have your chicken prepped and ready to go. Have all of your toppings ready to go. You can have dinner on the table in less than 20 minutes. We're gonna go enjoy this. We've had a long day, ready to go sit down and enjoy this, watch some TV or watch a movie or something and just relax before church tomorrow. If you guys have tried chicken nachos or another kind of nacho that's your favorite, let me know in the comments. And as I said, this video is a collab with my friend Jim over at Jim's Kitchen Kitchen. If you have not watched his videos, please check him out. He's a lot of fun to watch. And please check out the playlist of all of my YouTube friends that are posting all of their favorite nacho videos. You're gonna get some great nacho recipes to get you through all the football season, New Year's, and even into next year. Have a great day, friends. If you have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell up there so you're notified every time we upload a new video. And we'll talk to you guys in the comments. Have a great day, friends, and God bless.
Everyone needs a shoulder.